Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about the best growth stocks to buy right now according to billionaires, which would include George Soros. For more of the best stocks to buy right now on the stock market, remember to go and smash that like button right now, comment your favorite stock down below, subscribe if you are new, and without further ado, let's jump right into today's stories. The first company we're going to talk about is Aptiv PLC, ticker symbol. APTV, which currently trades for $90 per share, while experts in this area believe the company should be trading anywhere between $77 on the low end and $150 on the high end. This company is a leading global technology company that develops, designs, and manufactures various electrical equipment, electronics, and safety components for automotives. And right now, we have multiple analysts saying this company is a good buying opportunity because because they give it a buy rating and a price target of $130. Other analysts have even chimed in and increased their price prediction for this company from $125 over the next 12 months to $145. So clearly, they reiterated their outperform rating for this particular company. So if you're looking for a company that's very innovative that you might want to look into or at least add to a watch list, that could be the company for you. Up next, we have Tesla Inc, ticker symbol TSLA, and this is an electric vehicle company that also focuses and specializes on energy generation as well as energy storage. The TSLA share price is currently trading at $178 per share, while professionals believe the company should be trading in between the range of $263 and $436 over the next year. Recently, some analysts actually upgraded their Tesla stock price targets from $141 up to $176, and this is mainly due to Tesla's very strong financial position because they have a very healthy balance sheet and relatively low amount of debt. But like some of the other growth stocks on this list, they're trading at a very high price to earnings ratio or a PE ratio. So some of the accounting ratios for the companies we're going to analyze on this list are relatively high, but eventually investors and analysts are hoping based off of their current forecasts that these companies will start to grow in to their overall valuations. Next up, we have Qualcomm Incorporated, ticker symbol QCOM, and I personally own this company as well as Tesla. Because this company specializes and it's actually a leader in the semiconductor and wireless technology industry. And it's very well positioned to benefit from the recent shift to 5G technology. So their chipsets are actually going to be used in many of the new 5G devices. On top of that, I also like how this company offers a pretty strong dividend coming in at 2.4 one as their dividend yield. The current share price is only $120 per share, but analysts in this field think the company should be trading at minimum $105 and at maximum $238, which is why there's a consensus price target that's currently around $180 per share, and that's a pretty solid price target. That's $60 worth of upside in the next 12 months. So if you're looking for a fantastic growth company that also offers a good dividend, then Qualcomm could be the company for you. Up next, we have a smaller company, and that's going to be Freshworks Inc., ticker symbol FRSH. And this company is trading at $14.82. While professionals believe the company should be worth at the lowest $14 and at the highest $25. And this company is essentially like a mini Salesforce because they are a leading provider in cloud based CRM or customer relations management software. So if you want a cheaper company, instead of buying Salesforce, Force, which is probably the number one leader in terms of cloud-based CRM software, this could be the company for you. However, as of late, this company has been issued a neutral rating and a price target of $14 by various analysts. So this is going to be one of the more risky companies on this list. However, the upside potential is pretty strong. The next company we have is another company that is trading at a relatively high valuation similar to Tesla and Salesforce, and that's going to be Intuit Inc., ticker symbol INTU. And this company has a lot of sub-brands underneath the overall Intuit Inc. umbrella, such as QuickBooks as well as TurboTax. So these are some very popular companies and or brands underneath the overall umbrella. Essentially, Intuit is a leading global provider of 
financial management software solutions for small to medium sized businesses, consumers, as well as accounting professionals. Right now, the share price is trading at $403 per share. However, this is exactly what we could expect from this company because professionals in this area believe the company should be trading between $360 and $650. And that's exactly what the share price is doing. On top of this company, having very good future growth ahead of it because right now some analysts believe this company should be worth around $580 so they give it a buy rating it also offers us a dividend yield of 0.7 so that's not bad particularly for an innovative growth company anytime you can identify an innovative growth company that also offers you a dividend you should definitely look further into it the next company we're going to talk about is Indie Semiconductor Inc., ticker symbol INDI, which trades for merely $7.25. And many professionals believe this company is undervalued because it should be trading anywhere between $10 to $20 per share. This company is a leading provider for automotive semiconductors and various software solutions. And right now, many analysts have a buy rating on this company because they believe the current share price is somewhat undervalued. Many Many investors think the company could surge as high as $17 over the next year. So if you want a cheap company that has good upside, you could do further research into this particular company. However, I do not own this company. The stocks that I own that we've already been over would be Tesla, Qualcomm, as well as Intuit. The other ones I just haven't felt a strong draw to buy right now, but as prices fall due to the negative macroeconomic environment we are in, I might start to dollar cost average into a few of them depending on what their future revenue and earnings look like. But with that being said, let's jump over to another company which is an absolute behemoth of a technology company that tries to specialize in two main industries and that would be artificial intelligence as well as cloud computing. And this company is none other than Alphabet Inc, ticker symbol G-O-O-G, -O -O and this is the parent company to Google, which also owns YouTube. This company is currently trading at $93 per share, which again, many investors believe is somewhat undervalued because the current price forecast for this company, as well as their price targets and price predictions, range between $115 at the lowest and $160 at maximum. And many professionals believe that Alphabet is not only one of the market leaders in multiple spaces, but they're also well positioned to stay and remain a market leader for decades to come. So if you want a fantastic growth stock that you can literally buy and hold forever, then this could be the company for you. And Alphabet is literally one of my all-time favorite companies. Up next, we have a company that we already kind of touched on, and that is Salesforce Inc., ticker symbol CRM. And Salesforce is one of the market leaders in terms of customer relationship management technology, also known as CRM technology. And they have a long history of providing very stable and reliable products and innovative solutions to their various customers, which would include many Fortune 500 companies. Recently, a few analysts have actually revised their price targets by cutting their price prediction from $170 down to $164, and they reiterated a neutral rating. The reason for this is that that this company is trading at an extraordinarily high P.E. ratio, also known as their price to earnings ratio, because right now it's over 400, which is absolutely insane. So you may want to watch this company cool off before they actually start to be a good buying opportunity. However, many investors believe they will actually grow in to this very impressive P.E. ratio. But again, I'm going to leave that choice up to you to do your own research. I only own a very small portion of this overall company. In our number two spot, it's another one of my all-time favorite companies, and that is Amazon.com, ticker symbol AMZN. This company currently trades for just $89 per share, but this company looks to have fantastic growth ahead of it because investors in this space believe that this company could be worth anywhere between $80 to $232 after the economy recovers. And this is why a few analysts, particularly a Cohen analyst, increased and raised his price target from $150 $50 up to $160, and he maintained an outperform rating for this particular company. So I'm a big
big fan of Amazon if you don't already own it, I would highly encourage you to do your own research to determine whether or not it belongs in your personal portfolio based on things such as your age, your risk tolerance, your investing strategy, and stuff like that. And lastly, to my surprise, we actually have Rivian Automotive Inc, ticker symbol R-I-V-N, which is an electric vehicle company. Rivian Automotive, I've been very critical of them because I called over a year ago that the price of Rivian would absolutely plummet. And if you want to go research that video, feel free to do that on my channel. But now, since the price is kind of stabilizing between $25 to $28 per share, many billionaires are actually investing into this particular company because they plan to own it for the next 5 to 10 years. This is why there are price targets for this company that range from $23 up to $70 per share. And right now, Rivian is on track to become a major player in the electric vehicle space. This is another reason why Wall Street is very bullish and positive on Rivian, and they believe the company should be worth right now or over the next 12 months anywhere between $55 and $61, which is why Wall Street gives it a buy rating right now. So although this company could definitely lose some of its value over the next few months, over the long term, Wall Streets as well as billionaires think that this company is primed for future growth. And if you like electric vehicles and you think that's an amazing market, feel free to do your own research and look further into Rivian. There are a lot of electric vehicle companies out there, and many investors, including myself, believe that this market space is actually going to pull back because a lot of the electric vehicle companies seem to be overvalued right now. So clearly there's going to have to be a pullback so we can meet more of a market equilibrium. But with that being said, I would love to hear your favorite stocks that you are buying right now. Remember to go and comment that down below smash that like button for more videos just like this one on the best growth stocks to buy right now. Subscribe if you are new and I will see you in the next YT video.